Welcome to the Power of Thoughts, Unlock Your Mind's Full Potential. This has been brought to you by Better Life Library and narrated by Florian AI. This book explores the impact our thoughts have on our lives, emphasizing the transformative potential of positive thinking. Through seven insightful chapters, readers are guided on a journey to understand and harness the power of their thoughts to create positive change in their personal and professional lives. Each chapter explores different aspects of thought and its influence on our well-being, relationships, and success. Chapter 1. The Foundation of Thought Welcome to the start of your journey through the intricate world of our thoughts. In this opening chapter, we're diving deep into the essence of what it means to think and how these processes influence every aspect of our lives. Thoughts are more than just background noise in our minds. They are the architects of our reality, shaping our experiences, health, and the paths we choose to follow. We'll begin by exploring the nature of thoughts themselves, where they come from, how they develop, and why they possess such power over us. It's a fascinating exploration that reveals just how much control we have over these mental processes once we understand them better. Then, we'll look at the mind-body connection, a concept that might sound abstract at first but is deeply rooted in science. You'll see how our thoughts can physically alter our bodies, affecting everything from our heart rate to our immune system, and learn why a healthy mind is key to a healthy body. Finally, we tackle the compelling science behind positive versus negative thinking. It's not just about feeling good, it's about real, measurable effects on your life and health. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a solid foundation of understanding about the power of your thoughts, setting the stage for the incredible journey of self-discovery and empowerment that lies ahead. Understanding the Nature of Thoughts At the heart of our journey into the power of thoughts lies the quest to understand their very nature. Thoughts, seemingly ephemeral and fleeting, are in fact the architects of our reality. They are the silent narrators of our life story, quietly influencing our decisions, emotions, and actions. But what exactly are thoughts? They are more than just mental activity, they are the seeds from which our perception of the world grows. Imagine your mind as a garden, and every thought is a seed planted within it. Some seeds grow into flowers, filling your life with color and fragrance, while others may sprout weeds, obscuring the beauty that lies beneath. Understanding the nature of thoughts is akin to learning how to tend this garden, nurturing the positive and weeding out the negative to create a landscape that reflects the life you wish to lead. Thoughts are not static, they are dynamic and transformative. They have the power to evolve, influenced by our experiences, beliefs, and emotions. A single thought can change its shape, leading us down a path of positivity or spiraling into negativity. It's this fluidity that makes our mental landscape so potent and why mastering our thoughts can lead to profound changes in our lives. However, thoughts are not solitary creatures, they exist within a complex ecosystem of our mind, interacting with our emotions and beliefs, influencing our physical state and being influenced in return. This interplay is the foundation of the mind-body connection, a topic we will explore further. By looking into the nature of thoughts, we embark on the first step of understanding how to harness their power, guiding them to cultivate a life of purpose, health, and happiness. The Mind-Body Connection Diving deeper into the essence of our being, we encounter the fascinating interplay between our thoughts and our physical selves, a phenomenon known as the mind-body connection. This concept isn't just philosophical musing, it's a powerful testament to how our inner thoughts and emotions directly influence our physical health and well-being. It's about understanding that the mind and body are not separate entities but are intricately linked, communicating in a language that transcends words. Consider how a single thought can trigger a cascade of physical responses. When you envision something that scares you, your heart rate might increase, your palms might sweat, and your muscles might tense up, all because of a thought. Conversely, thinking about something that brings you joy can lead to a sense of relaxation, a decrease in blood pressure, and an overall feeling of well-being. This is the mind-body connection in action, a clear demonstration of how our mental state can manifest physically. This connection also underlines the importance of nurturing positive thoughts and emotions. Stress, anxiety, and negative thinking can lead to a range of physical ailments, from headaches and insomnia to more serious conditions like heart disease and weakened immune systems. On the flip side, positive thinking, grounded in optimism and gratitude, can enhance our physical health, promoting healing, boosting immune function, and increasing our overall lifespan. Understanding the mind-body connection opens up new pathways for healing and wellness. It suggests that by taking control of our thoughts, by consciously directing them towards positivity and hope, we can not only improve our mental health but our physical health as well. 
This chapter invites you to explore this connection further, to see your thoughts not just as abstract entities floating through your mind, but as powerful influencers of your physical reality. The Science Behind Positive Versus Negative Thinking In our exploration of the foundation of thought, we've journeyed through the nature of thoughts and the profound mind-body connection. Now, we look into the compelling science that distinguishes positive from negative thinking, unveiling how these two polarities of thought influence not only our mental health but our overall life experiences. Positive thinking is often championed for its ability to uplift and transform. Scientifically, this isn't just feel-good advice, it's rooted in tangible effects on the brain and body. When we engage in positive thinking, our brain's neurochemistry is altered. Neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin, often referred to as the feel-good hormones, are released more abundantly. These chemicals not only enhance our mood but also open our minds to new possibilities, improve our problem-solving abilities, and increase our resilience in the face of challenges. Moreover, positive thinking has been linked to a plethora of health benefits. Research indicates that individuals with a positive outlook tend to have lower levels of stress, reduced risk of heart disease, better immune function, and even longer lifespans. This isn't magic, it's the result of the body's stress response being less frequently activated, thereby reducing wear and tear on the body over time. Conversely, negative thinking can have the opposite effect. It can trigger our body's stress response, releasing cortisol, a stress hormone that, when chronically elevated, can lead to a host of health issues including increased blood pressure, suppressed immune function, and a heightened risk of chronic diseases. Beyond the physical, negative thinking can lead to a self-perpetuating cycle, where negative thoughts breed more negative emotions, which in turn generate more negative thoughts, trapping individuals in a downward spiral of negativity. The science behind positive and negative thinking also touches on neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to change and adapt. Engaging in positive thinking can literally rewire the brain, strengthening neural pathways that promote well-being and diminishing those associated with negative emotions. This means that the more we practice positive thinking, the more natural it becomes, illustrating the brain's remarkable capacity to adapt based on our thought patterns. Understanding this science empowers us to take control of our thoughts and, by extension, our mental and physical health. It reveals that while we may not have control over every situation we encounter, we do have control over how we interpret and respond to these situations. By choosing positivity, we're not just making ourselves feel better in the moment, we're making a long-term investment in our health and happiness. As we close this chapter on the foundation of thought, remember that the power of your thoughts extends far beyond mere feelings. It's a force backed by science, capable of shaping your health, your life, and your very reality. Conclusion As we conclude our exploration of the foundation of thought, we stand at the precipice of an empowering realization, our thoughts hold incredible power over our lives. From the intricate nature of thoughts to the undeniable mind-body connection and the tangible science behind positive and negative thinking, we've journeyed through the complex landscape of our inner worlds. This chapter has laid the groundwork for understanding how our thoughts not only shape our perceptions but directly influence our physical well-being and the quality of our lives. Armed with this knowledge, we can appreciate the profound impact of our mental habits and the importance of nurturing a positive mindset. The science is clear, positive thinking can lead to better health, greater resilience, and a more fulfilling life. Conversely, negative thinking can trap us in a cycle of stress and ill health. But with awareness and practice, we can choose the path of positivity, rewire our brains for happiness, and unlock our full potential. As we turn the page to Chapter 2, we'll delve into the practice of mindfulness, a powerful tool in managing our thoughts and emotions. Building on the foundation we've established, we'll explore how mindfulness can help us become more aware of our thoughts, develop techniques to cultivate a present and positive mind, and understand the role of mindfulness in emotional regulation. The journey of mastering our thoughts and shaping our reality continues, and the next step promises to deepen our understanding and enhance our ability to live a life guided by purpose, joy, and well-being. Chapter 2, Cultivating Mindfulness Welcome to Chapter 2, where we turn our focus towards the art and science of mindfulness. At its core, mindfulness is the practice of being fully present and engaged in the moment, aware of our thoughts and feelings without judgment. It's a simple concept with profound implications, applicable to everyone, from the stressed-out executive to the overwhelmed parent and even to those simply seeking more peace in their daily lives. But why practice mindfulness? In our fast-paced, always-connected world, our minds are often cluttered with distractions, making it difficult to truly engage with the present. 
Mindfulness offers a way to clear this mental clutter, bringing a sense of calm and focus that can enhance every aspect of our lives. By developing an awareness of our thoughts and emotions, we gain the power to manage them more effectively, rather than being controlled by them. This chapter will guide you through what mindfulness is, who can benefit from it, spoiler, everyone, and why incorporating it into your life can be a transformative tool for managing thoughts, emotions, and reactions. Whether you're looking to reduce stress, improve your emotional regulation, or simply live a more intentional life, mindfulness can be the key to unlocking a more balanced, peaceful existence. Navigating our minds, the essential role of awareness. Diving into mindfulness, we discover the critical importance of truly being aware of our thoughts. This isn't just about hearing the endless chatter in our minds, it's about deeply understanding how our thoughts affect our feelings and actions. It's a powerful moment when we realize we're actually in control of where our mental energy goes. By paying closer attention to the kinds of thoughts swirling around in our heads, we can figure out which ones lift us up and which ones hold us back, helping us move through our inner world with more insight and purpose. Think of awareness as this brilliant light that shines on the thoughts and reactions we usually don't even notice. Often, it's those sneaky, negative thoughts that end up running the show, affecting how we feel and act without our conscious permission. But when we shine a light on these thoughts, we get a chance to really look at them, see if they're true or helpful. This isn't just about getting out of mental traps, it's about actively reshaping our thinking patterns. Awareness also acts like an anchor, keeping us in the present instead of getting lost in worries about tomorrow or regrets about the past. It teaches us to watch our thoughts and feelings from a distance, without judging them, creating a space where we can choose how we react. This space is powerful, it's where we find the strength to respond to life intentionally, taking charge of our emotional health and reducing the impact of stress. At its heart, becoming more aware of our thoughts is a key step in mindfulness. It marks the beginning of a journey toward deeper emotional understanding and resilience, guiding us toward a life of calm and purposeful living. By developing this awareness, we change how we interact with our thoughts, setting the stage for a life that's more in tune with what truly matters. Techniques for Developing Mindfulness Cultivating mindfulness is like tending a garden, it requires patience, practice, and the right techniques to flourish. Here, we'll explore practical methods to develop mindfulness, transforming it from a concept into a daily habit. These techniques are designed to help us become more present and connected with the here and now, enhancing our awareness and ability to manage our thoughts and emotions with grace. 1. Mindful Breathing This is the cornerstone of mindfulness practice. Simply focus your attention on your breath, the inhale and exhale. When your mind wanders, gently bring it back to your breath. This practice can anchor you in the present moment and serve as a calm refuge from the day's stresses. 2. Body Scans Lie down and slowly direct your attention through different parts of your body, from your toes to your head. Notice any sensations, tensions, or discomfort without judgment, simply observing. This can help connect your mind and body, fostering a state of relaxed awareness. 3. Mindful Observation Choose an object within your sight and focus all your attention on it. Observe it without judgment, noticing its colors, shapes, and textures. This practice of focused attention can help clear your mind and ground you in the present. 4. Mindful listening. Engage in listening to sounds in your environment, whether it's the birds chirping, the wind rustling, or the hum of city life. Listen without labeling or judging the sounds, simply experiencing them as they are. This helps enhance your awareness of the present and can shift your perspective from a busy mind to a state of mindful observation. 5. Mindful eating. Turn meals into an opportunity for mindfulness by eating slowly and without distraction. Pay attention to the taste, texture, and aroma of your food. This practice not only enhances your dining experience but also promotes better digestion and satisfaction with your meal. 6. Mindful movement. Yoga, tai chi, or simply walking can be practiced with mindfulness. Pay attention to the movement of your body, the sensation of your feet touching the ground, and the rhythm of your breath. This can help you feel more grounded and physically connected to the present moment. 7. Gratitude Journaling At the end of each day, write down three things you're grateful for. This focuses your mind on positive experiences and fosters a habit of looking for the good in your day, which is a key aspect of mindfulness. 8. Digital Detoxes Set aside time each day or week where you disconnect from digital devices. This break from digital stimulation allows your mind to reset and can improve your attention span and ability to engage in mindful practices. Developing mindfulness is a personal journey, and these techniques can be tailored to fit into your lifestyle and preferences. The key is consistent practice, even a few minutes a day can make a significant difference in your ability to live more mindfully. 
As you incorporate these practices into your daily routine, you may notice a shift towards a more present, calm, and fulfilled state of being. Mindfulness and Emotional Regulation The intersection of mindfulness and emotional regulation is where we truly begin to see the transformative power of a mindful practice. Emotional regulation, the ability to manage and respond to an emotional experience in a healthy and productive manner, is greatly enhanced by mindfulness. This section delves into how mindfulness aids in understanding our emotions, responding to them with intention, and ultimately, gaining mastery over how we experience and express them. Understanding Emotions Through Mindfulness Mindfulness teaches us to observe our emotions without judgment. By becoming mindful observers of our feelings, we learn to recognize and name our emotions, understanding them as temporary states rather than defining characteristics of ourselves. This detachment provides clarity, allowing us to see the ebb and flow of our emotional landscape without being swept away by it. Responding, not reacting. A core benefit of mindfulness in emotional regulation is the space it creates between feeling an emotion and acting on it. This space is crucial, it's where we have the opportunity to choose our response rather than react impulsively. Mindfulness cultivates this pause, enabling us to respond to our emotions in ways that are considerate, measured, and aligned with our values and goals. It's about making a conscious choice rather than letting our immediate feelings dictate our actions. Techniques for Mindful Emotional Regulation 1. Breathing and Grounding Techniques When emotions run high, simple mindfulness exercises like focused breathing or grounding techniques can bring us back to a state of calm. By concentrating on the breath or on sensory experiences, e.g., the feel of the ground under our feet, we can anchor ourselves in the present, reducing the intensity of our emotional reactions. 2. Observing and labeling emotions, identifying and naming our emotions as we experience them can help demystify these feelings and reduce their impact. This practice encourages a more analytical approach to emotions, fostering understanding and acceptance. 3. Non-judgmental acceptance, mindfulness encourages accepting our emotions without labeling them as good or bad. This acceptance helps us to acknowledge our feelings without allowing them to dominate our thoughts and behaviors, facilitating healthier emotional processing and expression. 4. Compassionate self-reflection. Mindfulness nurtures a compassionate attitude towards ourselves, especially when dealing with difficult emotions. This self-compassion is key to emotional regulation as it encourages a kind, understanding approach to our feelings and experiences. Integrating Mindfulness into Emotional Life Integrating mindfulness into our emotional life doesn't mean we won't feel strong emotions or face challenges. Rather, it equips us with the tools to navigate our emotional world with greater ease and resilience. The mindful approach to emotional regulation is about engaging with our emotions in a way that is reflective, deliberate, and compassionate. It allows us to experience the full range of human emotions while maintaining a sense of balance and control. By practicing mindfulness, we can enhance our ability to regulate our emotions, leading to improved relationships, better decision-making, and a deeper sense of peace and contentment in our daily lives. Mindfulness and emotional regulation together offer a path to a more mindful, emotionally intelligent way of living where we have the power not only to experience our emotions fully but also to choose how we let them shape our lives. Conclusion as we wrap up our journey through Chapter 2, we've uncovered the profound benefits of integrating mindfulness into our lives. From understanding the essential role of awareness in navigating our thoughts to exploring practical techniques for developing mindfulness, and finally, examining its crucial role in emotional regulation, we've laid the groundwork for a more intentional and balanced way of living. Mindfulness is not just a practice but a way of being that invites us to experience each moment fully, without judgment. It empowers us to manage our thoughts and emotions with greater clarity and compassion, leading to a life marked by peace, resilience, and a deeper connection to ourselves and the world around us. As we move forward, remember that mindfulness is a journey, not a destination. Each day offers a new opportunity to cultivate presence, awareness, and kindness towards ourselves and others. With the foundation of mindfulness established, we're now poised to explore the transformative power of positive thinking in Chapter 3. We'll delve into how shifting from negative to positive thoughts can significantly impact our health and happiness and provide practical tips for maintaining a positive outlook. The skills and insights from mindfulness will serve as a valuable foundation as we continue to build a life enriched by positivity and purpose. Chapter 3, The Art of Positive Thinking Welcome to Chapter 3. Positive thinking isn't just an optimistic outlook on life, it's a powerful mental attitude that emphasizes the bright side of life, expecting positive results. 
It's about focusing on the good in any situation, cultivating gratitude, and believing in your own abilities to overcome challenges. On the flip side, negative thinking dwells on the worst aspects of situations, anticipates unfavorable outcomes, and often underestimates one's ability to handle life's challenges. But why does it matter to shift our focus from negative to positive thoughts? The reason is simple yet profound. Positive thinking is not just about feeling better in the moment, it's about creating a ripple effect that enhances our overall quality of life. It influences our health, our resilience, our relationships, and even our success. When we adopt a positive mindset, we open ourselves to a world of possibilities, improve our physical well-being, and set the stage for happiness and fulfillment. This chapter will explore the science behind positive and negative thinking, demonstrating how our thoughts directly impact our emotions and physical health. We'll look at why cultivating positive thoughts is not just beneficial but essential for a thriving, joyful life. Moreover, you'll discover practical strategies to transform your thought patterns, maintain a positive outlook, and harness the power of positivity to navigate life's ups and downs. Through understanding and applying the art of positive thinking, you'll learn how to shift your perspective, overcome obstacles with grace, and invite more joy and abundance into your life. Shifting from negative to positive thoughts. Transitioning from a mindset dominated by negative thoughts to one filled with positivity is akin to turning a ship in mid-ocean, it requires intention, effort, and time. However, the journey is well worth it. Negative thinking can be a hard habit to break, rooted in patterns of fear, doubt, and limitation. These thoughts often serve as a defense mechanism to avoid pain or disappointment but ultimately limit our potential for growth and happiness. Positive thinking, on the other hand, opens us to the breadth of life's possibilities, fostering resilience, creativity, and well-being. Recognizing Negative Thought Patterns The first step in shifting from negative to positive thoughts is recognizing our negative thought patterns. This involves becoming mindful of our internal dialogue and the times we drift towards pessimism or defeatism. Common negative patterns include catastrophizing or assuming the worst will happen and overgeneralizing where one negative event is seen as a never-ending pattern of defeat. Challenging negative thoughts Once we recognize these patterns, the next step is to challenge them. This means questioning the validity of our negative thoughts and considering more balanced perspectives. For example, if you tend to think, I never do anything right, challenge this by reminding yourself of your successes, no matter how small. This process isn't about dismissing negative feelings but about assessing situations more realistically. Cultivating a positive mindset Cultivating a positive mindset involves more than just denying negativity, it's about actively promoting positive thoughts. This can be achieved through practices like gratitude, where focusing on what we are thankful for helps shift our attention away from negativity. Another method is to surround ourselves with positive influences, people, books, and media that uplift and inspire us. Practicing Positive Affirmations Positive affirmations are a powerful tool for reinforcing a positive mindset. These are positive phrases or statements that can be repeated to challenge and undermine negative thoughts and build self-confidence. For instance, affirming I am capable and strong can help shift your focus from feelings of inadequacy to those of empowerment. Visualization Visualization is another technique where you imagine yourself succeeding or achieving a goal. This mental rehearsal can enhance your belief in your ability to make it happen, thereby fostering a more positive mindset. Embracing setbacks as learning opportunities. Finally, shifting from negative to positive thoughts involves changing how we view setbacks. Instead of seeing them as failures, we can view them as opportunities for learning and growth. This perspective shift can significantly reduce the emotional impact of setbacks and increase our resilience. The transition from negative to positive thinking is a transformative process that impacts every aspect of our lives. By committing to this shift, we pave the way for greater happiness, health, and success. It's a journey of discovering the power of our thoughts to shape our reality and unlock our fullest potential. The Impact of Positivity on Health and Happiness The influence of a positive mindset extends far beyond mere emotional well-being. It has profound implications for our physical health and overall happiness. Embracing positivity can lead to a cascade of beneficial effects that enhance our quality of life, demonstrating the powerful interconnection between mind and body. Boosting Physical Health Research has consistently shown that positive thinking contributes to a healthier life. Individuals with a positive outlook tend to have lower stress levels, which in turn reduces the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease and hypertension. 
Positivity has been linked to stronger immune function, meaning that optimists are better equipped to fend off illnesses. Furthermore, positive emotions can lead to healthier lifestyle choices, including increased physical activity and better dietary habits, further bolstering one's physical health. Enhancing Psychological Well-Being On the psychological front, positivity is a key ingredient for happiness and life satisfaction. Positive thinkers are more resilient, able to bounce back more quickly from setbacks and navigate through life's challenges with greater ease. This resilience is crucial for maintaining mental health and fostering a sense of inner peace and contentment. Additionally, a positive mindset encourages a growth mindset where individuals see challenges as opportunities for learning and growth, further enhancing their psychological well-being. Strengthening Relationships Positivity also plays a vital role in building and maintaining strong, healthy relationships. Positive individuals tend to attract others, creating a supportive social network that is crucial for emotional support and happiness. Their ability to see the good in people and situations makes them excellent communicators and partners, fostering deeper connections and mutual respect in relationships. Promoting Longevity Perhaps one of the most compelling impacts of positivity is its association with increased longevity. Studies have found that those with a positive outlook on life tend to live longer than their pessimistic counterparts. This link is believed to be a combination of the physiological benefits of reduced stress, healthier lifestyle choices, and the psychological resilience that comes with a positive mindset. Cultivating Happiness Ultimately, the journey toward positivity is also a journey toward lasting happiness. By focusing on positive thoughts, emotions, and actions, we not only improve our health and relationships but also create a life filled with joy, gratitude, and fulfillment. Happiness then becomes not just a fleeting emotion but a sustained state of being, nurtured by a continuous commitment to viewing life through a positive lens. The impact of positivity on health and happiness is undeniable, offering a compelling reason to cultivate a positive mindset. As we embrace positivity, we unlock a powerful tool for transforming our health, deepening our happiness, and enriching our lives in every dimension. Practical Tips for Maintaining a Positive Outlook Maintaining a positive outlook is essential for navigating life's challenges and enhancing overall well-being. While it's natural to encounter negative thoughts, fostering positivity can transform your perspective and enrich your life experience. Here are practical strategies to cultivate and sustain a positive outlook. 1. Practice gratitude, start or end your day by listing things you're grateful for. Gratitude shifts your focus from what's lacking to the abundance present in your life, fostering positivity. 2. Cultivate optimism, try to find the silver lining in difficult situations. Asking yourself what you can learn or how you can grow from challenges encourages an optimistic viewpoint. 3. Surround yourself with positivity, the people around you can significantly impact your outlook. Surround yourself with supportive, positive individuals who uplift and inspire you. 4. Engage in positive self-talk, be mindful of your internal dialogue. Replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations that reinforce your strengths and capabilities. 5. Take care of your physical health, exercise, a balanced diet, and adequate sleep can improve your mood and energy levels, making it easier to maintain a positive outlook. 6. Limit exposure to negative influences, be selective about the media you consume and the conversations you engage in. Limiting exposure to negativity helps preserve your positive mindset. 7. Set realistic goals, setting and achieving small, manageable goals can boost your confidence and sense of accomplishment, contributing to a more positive outlook. 8. Practice mindfulness and meditation, these practices help you stay present and reduce stress, creating a conducive environment for positivity to flourish. 9. Laugh and smile more. Laughter and smiling can improve your mood and the mood of those around you, creating a positive feedback loop. 10. Volunteer and help others. Giving back can provide a sense of purpose and fulfillment, enhancing your positive outlook on life. 11. Cultivate resilience. View setbacks as temporary and as opportunities for growth. Resilience strengthens your ability to maintain positivity through life's ups and downs. 12. Keep a positivity journal. Regularly write down positive experiences, thoughts, and feelings. This can serve as a reminder of the good in your life, especially during challenging times. By integrating these strategies into your daily routine, you can develop a more positive outlook that enhances your quality of life. Remember, positivity is a choice and a practice, it grows stronger with intention and action. Conclusion 
As we conclude our exploration of the art of positive thinking, it's clear that adopting a positive mindset is more than just a feel-good strategy, it's a profound transformation that touches every aspect of our lives. From shifting our focus from negative to positive thoughts, understanding the significant impact positivity has on our health and happiness, to embracing practical tips for maintaining a positive outlook, we've laid the groundwork for a life filled with greater joy, resilience, and fulfillment. Remember, the journey towards positive thinking is both a personal and ongoing one. It challenges us to confront and change deeply ingrained patterns of thinking, to choose optimism in the face of adversity, and to cultivate a mindset that sees opportunities for growth in every challenge. As we move forward, let the insights and strategies shared in this chapter serve as your guide to nurturing a positive outlook that not only enhances your own well-being but also positively influences those around you. Embracing positivity is akin to planting seeds in a garden. With care, patience, and regular nurturing, these seeds will grow into a vibrant landscape that reflects the beauty of a life lived with positivity at its core. As we transition to Chapter 4, Overcoming Limiting Beliefs, we'll build on the foundation of positive thinking, diving deeper into how we can identify and transform the beliefs that hold us back, further empowering our journey towards a fulfilling and abundant life. Chapter 4, Overcoming Limiting Beliefs Welcome to Chapter 4, where we jump into the realm of overcoming limiting beliefs, an essential step towards unleashing our full potential. Limiting beliefs are those deeply held convictions that constrain our lives, dictating what we believe we are or are not capable of achieving. They are the silent saboteurs of our dreams, often manifesting as thoughts like, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, or success is for others, not for me. These beliefs limit our ability to achieve our goals and live our lives to the fullest. But where do these limiting beliefs come from? Often, they are the product of past experiences, societal influences, and messages we've absorbed from family, friends, and media throughout our lives. From a young age, our interactions with the world around us begin to shape our perceptions of what we believe is possible for ourselves. Negative experiences, feedback, and even offhand comments can plant seeds of doubt that grow into firmly rooted beliefs, influencing our decisions and actions well into adulthood. This chapter will guide you through the process of identifying your own limiting beliefs, understanding their origins, and, most importantly, learning strategies to challenge and change them. We'll explore how affirmations can play a crucial role in building new, empowering beliefs that support your growth and success. By addressing and overcoming these mental barriers, you'll open the door to a life of increased confidence, achievement, and fulfillment. Join us on this transformative journey as we break free from the chains of limiting beliefs and step into the boundless potential of our lives. Identifying your limiting beliefs The journey to overcoming limiting beliefs begins with identifying them. These are the hidden scripts that play in the back of our minds, shaping our perceptions, actions, and ultimately, our reality. Recognizing these beliefs is the first step toward dismantling their power over our lives. Reflect on areas of stagnation or discontent. Start by reflecting on areas of your life where you feel stuck or dissatisfied. Perhaps it's your career, personal relationships, or personal growth. Limiting beliefs often lurk in these areas of stagnation, holding us back from pursuing change or growth. Listen to your inner dialogue. Pay close attention to your self-talk, especially when faced with challenges or opportunities. The voice that says, I can't do this because, or I've never been good at, reveals underlying limiting beliefs. This inner dialogue is a clue to identifying the beliefs that constrain you. Examine past experiences. Our past experiences, especially those from childhood, are fertile ground for the development of limiting beliefs. Reflect on past events that have significantly impacted your self-esteem or worldview. What messages did you internalize from these experiences? How have they shaped your belief about what you can or cannot achieve? Notice patterns of behavior. Often, our behaviors and habits are manifestations of our underlying beliefs. Do you tend to procrastinate on certain tasks? Do you shy away from taking risks? These patterns might be rooted in limiting beliefs about your abilities or worth. Question the origin. Once you've identified a potential limiting belief, ask yourself where it came from. Is it a message you received from a parent, teacher, or peer? Is it a conclusion you drew from a specific experience? Understanding the origin can help demystify the belief and reduce its hold on you. Challenge its universality. Ask yourself whether this belief is universally true. Are there people who have proven this belief wrong? Recognizing that your belief is not an absolute truth but rather a subjective interpretation can open your mind to new possibilities. 
write them down. Make a list of the limiting beliefs you've identified. Writing them down not only makes them more tangible but also helps in the process of confronting and eventually dismantling them. This list will serve as a foundation for the work ahead in challenging and changing these beliefs. Identifying your limiting beliefs is a powerful exercise in self-awareness. It's the crucial first step in a journey towards personal liberation and empowerment, setting the stage for profound transformation. As we move forward, we'll explore strategies for challenging these beliefs and reshaping them into empowering affirmations that support your growth and success. Strategies for Challenging and Changing Negative Beliefs Once you've identified your limiting beliefs, the next step is to challenge and change them. This process involves confronting these beliefs with evidence, logic, and new perspectives, gradually dismantling their influence over your thoughts and actions. Here are effective strategies to help you transform your negative beliefs into empowering convictions. 1. Evidence against the belief. Gather evidence that contradicts your limiting belief. For every belief that says you can't, find real-life instances where you did. This could be past successes, strengths, or talents you possess. Documenting these instances can weaken the foundation of your limiting beliefs. 2. Reframe your thoughts. Practice cognitive restructuring by reframing negative beliefs into positive ones. For instance, instead of saying I always fail, reframe it to I faced challenges before and learned from them. This shift in perspective encourages growth and possibility. 3. Mindfulness and meditation. Use mindfulness to observe your thoughts without attachment. Meditation can help you detach from negative beliefs and see them as mere thoughts rather than truths. This detachment allows you to choose which beliefs to engage with. For seek new experiences. Actively seek out new experiences that challenge your limiting beliefs. For example, if you believe you're not good at public speaking, join a speaking club. New experiences can provide evidence that challenges your old narratives. 5. Surround yourself with positivity. Surround yourself with people who embody the positive beliefs you aspire to. Their attitudes and successes can inspire you and challenge your limiting beliefs. Positive environments foster positive mindsets. 6. Utilize affirmations. Create affirmations that counteract your limiting beliefs. Repeat these positive statements daily to reinforce new, empowering beliefs in your subconscious mind. Make your affirmations specific, positive, and present tense. 7. Seek professional help. Sometimes, deeply ingrained beliefs may be difficult to overcome on your own. Seeking help from a therapist or coach can provide you with tools and support to challenge and change these beliefs more effectively. 8. Journaling. Keep a journal to track your progress in challenging and changing your beliefs. Writing about your experiences, feelings, and the new beliefs you're cultivating can solidify the transformation process. 9. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself throughout this process. Changing deep-seated beliefs takes time and effort. Recognize your progress, no matter how small, and treat yourself with the same compassion you would offer a friend. 10. Visualize success. Use visualization techniques to imagine yourself living according to your new, positive beliefs. Visualizing success can reinforce the belief in your ability to achieve it, making the new beliefs feel more real and attainable. By employing these strategies, you can begin to dismantle the limiting beliefs that have held you back, replacing them with positive, empowering convictions that support your growth and success. This transformative process not only changes how you view yourself and your capabilities but also opens up a world of possibilities for your life. The Role of Affirmations in Building New Beliefs Affirmations play a pivotal role in the process of transforming limiting beliefs into empowering ones. These positive, self-affirming statements are designed to challenge and undermine the negative scripts that hold us back, replacing them with a mindset geared towards growth, confidence, and success. By regularly practicing affirmations, we can gradually reshape our thought patterns, leading to lasting changes in our beliefs and behaviors. The power of affirmations lies in their ability to reprogram our subconscious mind, which influences our self-image, confidence, and potential to achieve our goals. When we affirm our abilities and worth, we start to view ourselves and our capabilities in a new light. This shift in perspective opens us up to new possibilities and opportunities we might have previously thought were beyond our reach. For affirmations to be effective, they should be practiced consistently and with conviction. It's not just about repeating words, it's about truly feeling and believing in the truth of these statements. Visualization can enhance this process, as imagining yourself embodying these affirmations makes them even more powerful. 
Here are 10 positive I am IG affirmations to get you started on building new, empowering beliefs. 1. I am capable of achieving my goals. 2. I am worthy of love and respect. 3. I am resilient and can overcome any challenge. 4. I am a positive force in the world. 5. I am continually growing and becoming a better version of myself. 6. I am strong, confident, and self-assured. 7. I am open to new experiences and learning from them. 8. I am grateful for the abundance in my life. 9. I am in control of my happiness and success. 10. I am deserving of a fulfilling and joyful life. Incorporating these affirmations into your daily routine can significantly impact your mindset and attitude. Over time, you'll find that the limiting beliefs which once seemed like insurmountable barriers become less significant, replaced by a new belief system that supports your aspirations and well-being. Through the power of affirmations, you hold the key to unlocking your full potential and leading a life that reflects your true capabilities and desires. Conclusion As we wrap up Chapter 4, we've embarked on a crucial journey from recognizing to actively dismantling the limiting beliefs that have constrained our growth and dimmed our potential. Through this transformative process, we've learned not just to identify these hidden saboteurs but also to employ powerful strategies for challenging and ultimately changing them. The journey from self-doubt to self-empowerment is profound, requiring introspection, persistence, and a willingness to confront and rewrite the narratives we've long held about ourselves. By embracing the strategies outlined, ranging from evidence-gathering, reframing thoughts, seeking new experiences, to the pivotal role of affirmations, we equip ourselves with the tools necessary for profound personal transformation. The practice of affirmations, in particular, serves as a daily reminder of our worth, capabilities, and the boundless opportunities that await us when we choose to believe in ourselves. This chapter's journey underscores a fundamental truth. The beliefs that limit us are not immovable truths but perspectives that we have the power to change. As we move forward, let us carry with us the knowledge that our beliefs shape our reality and that by altering those beliefs, we open the door to a world of potential, achievement, and fulfillment previously thought unreachable. As we transition into Chapter 5, The Power of Visualization, we build upon the foundation laid in overcoming limiting beliefs, exploring how mental imagery can further enhance our ability to achieve goals and elevate our performance. Visualization not only complements the work done in reshaping our beliefs but also offers a dynamic tool for bringing our aspirations into reality, marking the next step in our journey towards unlocking our full potential. Chapter 5, The Power of Visualization Welcome to Chapter 5, where we explore the transformative power of visualization. Visualization, or mental imagery, is a technique that involves creating vivid, detailed images in your mind of your desired outcomes or goals. It's a practice that athletes, entrepreneurs, and top performers across various fields use to enhance their performance, achieve their goals, and actualize their aspirations. But why is visualization so important? The answer lies in the brain's remarkable ability to interpret imagery as equivalent to real-life action. When you visualize yourself achieving a goal, your brain generates an internal blueprint that guides your behaviors and actions towards making that image a reality. This process not only primes you for success but also enhances motivation, increases confidence, and improves focus, making it an indispensable tool for personal and professional growth. Visualization is more than just daydreaming. It's a focused, deliberate practice that harnesses the power of your mind to influence your reality. By vividly picturing your goals as already achieved, you stimulate the same neural pathways in your brain as if you were actually performing the action. This strengthens your belief in your ability to achieve those goals, reinforcing the mindset needed for success. Furthermore, visualization can help you grow by Enhancing motivation, seeing your goals achieved in your mind's eye fuels your desire to take the necessary actions to make it happen in reality. Improving performance, regular visualization practices can enhance your skills and performance as mental rehearsals prime your brain and body for action. Overcoming challenges, visualization allows you to prepare for and navigate obstacles more effectively by mentally rehearsing strategies to overcome them. Boosting confidence, regularly visualizing success builds self-confidence and reduces anxiety, making you more resilient in the face of challenges. In this chapter, we will explore the principle behind mental imagery, uncover techniques for effective visualization, and demonstrate how visualization can be a game-changer in achieving your goals and enhancing your performance. Whether you're looking to improve in your personal or professional life, visualization offers a pathway to success by empowering you to see and believe in the possibilities before they unfold. 
Join us as we unlock the power of visualization, a tool not just for envisioning a brighter future, but for creating it. The Principle of Mental Imagery At the core of visualization lies the principle of mental imagery, a powerful psychological tool that harnesses the mind's ability to simulate experiences. Mental imagery involves creating or recreating vivid and detailed images in the mind, engaging not just the visual sense but all senses to practice or experience a situation without physically performing the action. This process leverages the brain's plasticity, its ability to form and reorganize synaptic connections, especially in response to learning or experience. Neurological Foundations The power of mental imagery stems from its impact on the brain. When you visualize an action, the brain's neurons activate in patterns similar to those used when physically performing the action. This phenomenon, known as functional equivalence, suggests that the brain does not distinguish significantly between a vividly imagined act and a real act. Mental practice can strengthen neural pathways just as physical practice can, enhancing skills and performance without physical movement. The Mind-Body Connection Mental imagery highlights the profound connection between the mind and body. Visualization activates the autonomic nervous system, which can lead to real physiological changes. For example, visualizing a relaxing scene can slow the heart rate and reduce stress, while vividly imagining an intense physical workout can increase strength and improve muscle memory. This connection provides a basis for using visualization to influence physical health and athletic performance. Psychological Effects Beyond its physiological impacts, mental imagery significantly affects psychological states. It can enhance motivation, increase confidence, and reduce anxiety and stress. By visualizing successful outcomes, individuals reinforce their belief in their ability to achieve their goals, which in turn influences their real-world actions and decisions towards those outcomes. Application Across Fields The principle of mental imagery is applied across various fields, from sports psychology, where athletes visualize their performances, to clinical psychology, where visualization techniques are used to treat conditions like anxiety and phobias. In business and personal development, individuals use visualization to enhance public speaking skills, prepare for interviews, and achieve personal goals. Harnessing Mental Imagery to effectively harness the power of mental imagery, it's essential to engage in regular practice, incorporating all senses to create a multisensory experience. The more vivid and detailed the imagery, the more effective it is in stimulating the brain's neural networks, paving the way for improved performance and goal achievement. Understanding the principle of mental imagery provides a foundation for exploring techniques for effective visualization, which we will delve into next. By mastering these techniques, you can unlock the potential of your mind to influence your physical reality, achieving greater success and fulfillment in your personal and professional life. Techniques for Effective Visualization Effective visualization is more than mere wishful thinking. It's a structured practice that, when done correctly, can significantly impact your ability to achieve your goals. Here are some techniques to ensure that your visualization practice is as effective as possible, enabling you to harness the full power of your mind. 1. Create a clear, detailed image. The first step in effective visualization is to create a vivid and detailed image of your goal or desired outcome. The more specific and clear your mental image, the better. Include all senses in your visualization, sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell, to make the experience as real as possible. For instance, if you're visualizing a successful presentation, imagine the sound of your voice, the feeling of confidence, the visuals of your slides, and even the scent of the room. 2. Incorporate emotion. Emotion is a powerful driver in making your visualization more impactful. Try to feel the emotions you would experience upon achieving your goal, such as joy, pride, satisfaction, or relief. Emotionally charged visualizations are more likely to be remembered and acted upon. 3. Practice regularly. Like any skill, visualization gets better with practice. Dedicate a specific time each day for your visualization exercises. Consistency not only improves the quality of your visualizations but also reinforces the belief in the possibility of achieving your goals. For use guided imagery. For those who find it challenging to visualize on their own, guided imagery can be a helpful tool. This technique involves listening to detailed narratives or instructions that guide you through the visualization process. There are many guided imagery resources available online, catering to various goals and preferences. 5. Write it down. Writing down what you visualize can enhance the clarity and detail of your mental imagery. This can be in the form of a narrative description of your visualized scenario or as a bullet point list of key images and emotions. 
Revisiting and revising your written visualizations can deepen your practice over time. 6. Start with the end in mind. Begin your visualization by focusing on the final outcome, seeing your goal as already achieved. This endpoint visualization helps to instill a sense of certainty and inevitability about your success, boosting your motivation and confidence to take the necessary steps towards your goal. 7. Use the perspective of presence. Visualize from a first-person perspective, seeing the scenario unfold through your own eyes rather than watching yourself from an external viewpoint. This immersive approach enhances the personal relevance of the visualization, making it more compelling and motivating. 8. Incorporate action steps. While visualizing the outcome is crucial, it's also helpful to visualize the steps you'll take to get there. Imagine yourself engaging in the actions necessary for success, overcoming obstacles, and persistently moving towards your goal. This can prepare you mentally for the journey ahead, making it easier to navigate challenges. 9. Leverage Positive Affirmations Combine your visualization practice with positive affirmations that reinforce your ability to achieve your goals. Affirmations like, I am capable and determined, or I achieve whatever I set my mind to it can bolster your self-belief and enhance the effectiveness of your visualizations. 10. Reflect and Adjust After each visualization session, take a moment to reflect on the experience. Consider what felt most vivid, which aspects were challenging to visualize, and how the practice made you feel. Use these insights to adjust and refine your technique over time. By incorporating these techniques into your visualization practice, you can transform it from a passive daydream into a powerful mental rehearsal for success. Visualization not only prepares you mentally for achieving your goals, but also aligns your subconscious mind with your conscious efforts, unlocking your full potential for personal and professional growth. Visualization in Goal Achievement and Performance Enhancement Visualization stands as a pivotal tool in the realm of goal achievement and performance enhancement, wielding the power to transform aspirations into tangible realities. This technique, by harnessing the principle of mental imagery, equips individuals with a mental rehearsal space where the boundaries of possibility expand and the blueprint for success is drafted in the mind's eye. Enhancing Goal Clarity Visualization begins with crystallizing your objectives, turning vague aspirations into clear, vivid goals. By mentally simulating the desired outcomes, you not only reinforce your commitment to these goals but also refine your focus, directing your energy and efforts more efficiently. This clarity is crucial as it guides the decision-making process and prioritization of tasks, aligning your daily actions with your ultimate aspirations. Boosting Motivation and Commitment the practice of visualizing success serves as a powerful motivator. Imagining the achievement of your goals elicits a cascade of positive emotions, joy, pride, satisfaction, fueling your drive and determination. This emotional engagement renews your commitment to your goals, especially during moments of doubt or challenge. The vivid mental rehearsal of success acts as a reminder of why you embarked on this journey, reinforcing your resolve to persevere. Overcoming Obstacles Visualization also plays a critical role in preparing for and overcoming obstacles. By mentally simulating challenges and envisioning strategies to navigate these hurdles, you build psychological resilience. This preparedness ensures that when faced with real-world obstacles, you're less likely to be deterred. Instead, you approach challenges with a problem-solving mindset, viewing them as surmountable and integral to the growth process. Enhancing Performance in the realm of performance, visualization acts as a silent rehearsal, fine-tuning skills and strategies without physical execution. Athletes commonly use this technique to improve their physical prowess, mentally practicing their sport to enhance muscle memory and coordination. However, the benefits extend beyond athletics, applicable to any skill or performance area, including public speaking, interviews, and artistic pursuits. By repeatedly visualizing the successful execution of a task, you prime your brain and body for optimal real-world performance. Incorporating Feedback and Refinement An often overlooked aspect of visualization is its capacity for feedback integration and performance refinement. By mentally rehearsing your performance, you can critically assess areas for improvement and adjust your strategies accordingly. This iterative process ensures continuous growth and adaptation, allowing you to approach your goals with a mindset geared towards excellence and precision. Creating a Success Mindset Ultimately, the consistent practice of visualization fosters a success-oriented mindset. It shifts your focus from external validation to internal conviction, embedding a deep-seated belief in your ability to achieve your goals. 
This mindset is characterized by a proactive approach to challenges, a resilience in the face of setbacks, and an unwavering commitment to personal and professional development. Visualization, therefore, is not merely a technique but a transformative practice that molds the psyche, preparing it for the rigors of goal achievement and performance enhancement. By vividly imagining your success and the path to it, you unlock the power of your mind to propel you towards your dreams, making the once imagined a lived reality. Conclusion As we close Chapter 5, we've traversed through the exploration of mental imagery, the techniques for effective visualization, and its application in goal achievement and performance enhancement, we've equipped ourselves with a powerful psychological tool that not only propels us towards our aspirations but also enriches our journey towards them. Visualization transcends mere imagination, it is an active engagement of the mind that aligns our thoughts, emotions, and actions with our desired future. By vividly imagining our success, we do more than see a possibility, we begin to believe in its inevitability. This belief, rooted in the practice of visualization, becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, guiding us to take the steps necessary to make our dreams a reality. The journey through this chapter has shown us that with clarity, emotion, and consistent practice, visualization can become an integral part of our daily routine, enhancing our motivation, overcoming obstacles, and refining our performance. It's a testament to the power of our minds to shape our reality, reminding us that what we can conceive and believe, we can achieve. As we advance to Chapter 6, Thought Patterns and Habit Formation, we build upon the foundation of visualization to delve deeper into the intricacies of our thoughts and their profound impact on our habits. We will explore how our thought patterns influence our behavior, how to break free from the chains of negative thinking, and how to cultivate positive habits through thoughtful repetition. This next chapter promises to further unravel the layers of our consciousness, offering insights and strategies to harness the transformative power of our thoughts and habits for a life of purpose, achievement, and fulfillment. Chapter 6, Thought Patterns and Habit Formation Welcome to Chapter 6, where we investigate the intricate relationship between our thought patterns and habit formation. This chapter is dedicated to unraveling how the continuous flow of our thoughts shapes our actions and eventually crystallizes into the habits that define our daily lives. By exploring the nature of thought patterns, understanding the mechanics behind building habits, and examining the dual nature of habits as both beneficial and potentially limiting, we embark on a journey to harness the power of our minds for positive change. What are thought patterns? Thought patterns are the habitual ways of thinking that our minds default to, based on past experiences, beliefs, and learned behaviors. They can be positive, fostering a mindset geared towards growth and resilience, or negative, creating barriers to our progress and well-being. These patterns are the mental paths our minds take when faced with decisions, challenges, or opportunities, deeply influencing how we perceive and interact with the world. How do you build a habit? Building a habit is a process that unfolds through the repetition of a behavior in response to specific cues, leading to an increase in automaticity. This process involves three key components, the cue or trigger for the behavior, the routine, the behavior itself, and the reward, a positive reinforcement that makes the behavior stick. Through consistent repetition, this cycle strengthens the neural pathways associated with the habit, making it an automatic response to its cue. Are habits good? Habits, in essence, are neutral. They can be incredibly beneficial, serving as the building blocks of a productive, healthy, and fulfilling life. Good habits, such as regular exercise, mindful eating, and effective time management, can significantly enhance our well-being and efficiency. However, habits can also be detrimental when they lead to negative outcomes, such as when procrastination, unhealthy eating, or excessive screen time become part of our daily routine. The key lies in our ability to cultivate positive habits while breaking free from those that limit us. In this chapter, we will explore the profound link between our thought patterns and our habits, providing insights into how our habitual ways of thinking influence our behavior. We will dive into strategies for breaking free from negative thought patterns that hinder our growth and detail methods for building positive habits through thoughtful repetition. By understanding and leveraging this connection, we can consciously shape our habits to reflect the life we aspire to live, filled with purpose, achievement, and happiness. Understanding the link between thoughts and habits At the heart of our behaviors and routines lie our thought patterns, the internal dialogues and beliefs that steer our actions. Understanding the intricate link between thoughts and habits is crucial for anyone looking to make meaningful changes in their life. This connection reveals how our habitual ways of thinking not only influence our current actions but also have the power to shape our future behaviors and, ultimately, our destiny. The Foundation of Habits 
Habits are formed through a process known as the habit loop, which consists of three main components, the cue, a trigger for the behavior, the routine, the behavior itself, and the reward, a positive reinforcement that makes the behavior stick. But underlying this loop are our thought patterns, which interpret cues and anticipate rewards, thereby motivating the routine. For instance, a thought pattern centered around stress relief might trigger a routine of evening snacking as a way to unwind, with the reward being a temporary feeling of comfort. Thought patterns as the blueprint. Our thought patterns serve as the blueprint for our habits. Positive thought patterns, such as a belief in one's ability to succeed, can lead to the formation of productive habits, like regular exercise or diligent work. Conversely, negative thought patterns, such as a tendency to anticipate failure, can lead to avoidance behaviors or procrastination. By recognizing that our thoughts can either propel us forward or hold us back, we gain insight into the transformative power of mindset and habit formation. Cognitive Behavioral Link the cognitive behavioral model highlights how our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors are interconnected. This model suggests that by altering one element, such as replacing a negative thought with a positive one, we can initiate a chain reaction that leads to behavior change. For example, changing the thought, I'm not good at this, to I can improve with practice, can shift feelings from discouragement to motivation, leading to increased effort and better habits. The Role of Self-Talk our internal dialogue, or self-talk, plays a significant role in the formation of habits. Positive self-talk reinforces our ability to tackle challenges and form beneficial habits, while negative self-talk can undermine our efforts and reinforce harmful patterns. By becoming more mindful of our self-talk, we can begin to direct our thoughts towards more constructive narratives. Mindfulness and Awareness Mindfulness and awareness are key in bridging the gap between thoughts and habits. By practicing mindfulness, we become more aware of our thought patterns and the triggers for our habits. This awareness allows us to consciously choose our response to cues, rather than automatically following a habitual routine, empowering us to form new habits aligned with our goals and values. In summary, the link between thoughts and habits is both profound and empowering. By understanding and leveraging this connection, we can consciously influence our habit formation, leading to positive changes in our behaviors and, ultimately, in our lives. As we move forward, we'll explore strategies for breaking free from negative thought patterns and building positive habits through thoughtful repetition, laying the groundwork for a life of purpose, achievement, and fulfillment. Breaking free from negative thought patterns. Escaping the grip of negative thought patterns is a pivotal step toward personal growth and habit transformation. These patterns, often deeply ingrained through years of repetition, can dictate our actions and reactions, limiting our potential and influencing the formation of habits that do not serve our best interests. However, by adopting targeted strategies, we can break free from these constraints, paving the way for positive change and the development of empowering habits. Identify and acknowledge. The first step in breaking free is to identify and acknowledge your negative thought patterns. This involves becoming an observer of your thoughts, recognizing when you fall into habitual negative thinking, and understanding the impact these thoughts have on your emotions and behavior. Acknowledgement without judgment allows you to see these patterns for what they are, habits of the mind that can be changed. Understand the triggers. Every thought pattern has its triggers, specific situations, emotions, or even people that spark a cascade of negative thinking. By identifying these triggers, you can begin to anticipate and prepare for them, reducing their power to influence your thoughts and, by extension, your habits. Challenge and reframe. Challenging your negative thoughts involves questioning their accuracy and utility. Is there evidence to support this thought, or is it an assumption? Can you view the situation from a different, more positive perspective? Reframing involves changing your narrative about the situation, focusing on solutions and growth opportunities rather than dwelling on limitations and failures. Practice mindfulness and meditation. Mindfulness and meditation are powerful tools for breaking free from negative thought patterns. They teach you to stay present, observing your thoughts without attachment or judgment. This detachment helps you realize that thoughts are transient and do not define you, making it easier to let go of negativity. Seek positive influences. Surrounding yourself with positive influences, people, environments, and media that uplift and inspire can significantly impact your thought patterns. Positivity begets positivity. By immersing yourself in an encouraging atmosphere, you'll find it easier to adopt a more optimistic outlook. Replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Positive affirmations are specific, constructive statements that you can use to counteract negative thoughts. 
Repeating these affirmations helps to embed new, positive beliefs in your subconscious, gradually eroding the foundation of your negative thought patterns. Visualize positive outcomes. Visualization can be a potent ally in your fight against negative thinking. By regularly visualizing yourself successfully overcoming your negative thoughts and engaging in positive behavior, you reinforce your ability to change and adapt, strengthening your resolve to form healthier habits. Commit to continuous learning and growth. View your journey to break free from negative thought patterns as an ongoing process of learning and self-discovery. Embrace challenges as opportunities to grow, and don't be afraid to seek help when needed, whether from books, workshops, or professional counseling. Breaking free from negative thought patterns is not an overnight endeavor, it requires patience, persistence, and compassion towards oneself. By actively engaging in these strategies, you lay the groundwork for not only altering your thought patterns but also transforming your habits, leading to a more fulfilling and positive life. Building Positive Habits Through Thoughtful Repetition Creating positive habits is a deliberate process that can dramatically transform your daily life and overall well-being. By integrating thoughtful repetition into your routine, you can cultivate habits that align with your goals and values. Here are step-by-step -step instructions to guide you in building positive habits. Step 1. Define your desired habit. Clearly identify the positive habit you want to develop. Be specific about what the habit entails and why it's important to you. Understanding the purpose behind the habit can enhance your motivation and commitment. Step 2. Start small. Break down your desired habit into the smallest possible action. Starting with a small, manageable behavior makes it less daunting and easier to integrate into your daily routine. For example, if you aim to exercise more, start with a 5-minute walk each day rather than an hour-long workout. Step 3. Anchor it to an established routine. Link your new habit to an existing routine or habit, using it as a cue to perform the new behavior. This technique, known as habit stacking, creates a natural trigger for your new habit. For instance, if you want to practice gratitude daily, you could decide to do so every morning while you drink your coffee. Step 4. Celebrate small wins. Recognize and celebrate each time you successfully perform your new habit. Positive reinforcement strengthens the association between the cue and the behavior, making the habit more likely to stick. Small rewards or simply acknowledging your effort can be powerful motivators. Step 5. Be consistent. Consistency is key in habit formation. Perform your new habit at the same time and in the same context each day to reinforce the behavior. Consistent repetition strengthens neural pathways, making the habit more automatic over time. Step 6. Plan for obstacles. Anticipate potential challenges or obstacles that could disrupt your habit formation and plan strategies to overcome them. For example, if you know that rain might prevent you from taking your morning walk, plan an indoor exercise alternative. Step 7. Use visual cues. Place visual reminders of your new habit in your environment to serve as cues to act. Whether it's a workout outfit laid out the night before or a sticky note on your bathroom mirror, visual cues can prompt action and reinforce repetition. Step 8. Reflect and adjust. Regularly reflect on your progress and the effectiveness of your strategy. If you find yourself struggling to stick with the habit, consider adjusting your approach. Maybe the timing needs to change or the habit needs to be broken down into even smaller steps. Step 9. Build on success. Once your new habit starts to feel more automatic, consider building on this success by adding another small habit or increasing the complexity of the current one. Use the momentum of your success to further enhance your routines and behaviors. Step 10. Practice patience and self-compassion. Remember, forming a new habit takes time and persistence. Be patient with yourself and practice self-compassion if you slip up. Each day offers a new opportunity to reinforce your positive habit through thoughtful repetition. By following these steps, you can methodically build positive habits that will contribute to your personal growth, happiness, and success. The key is to remain focused, consistent, and patient, allowing the power of thoughtful repetition to work its magic in transforming your life. Conclusion As we conclude Chapter 6, we venture deeply into the realm where our thought patterns intertwine with our habits, understanding that the seeds of our actions are sown in the soil of our thoughts. By exploring the dynamics between thought patterns and habit formation, we have uncovered the foundational role our internal dialogues play in shaping our behaviors and, ultimately, the quality of our lives. We've learned that our thought patterns can either serve as catalysts for positive change or as barriers to our growth, highlighting the importance of nurturing a mindset that supports our aspirations. 
The journey from identifying and breaking free from negative thought patterns to building positive habits through thoughtful repetition is a testament to the power we hold within ourselves to mold our futures. This chapter has equipped us with the tools and strategies needed to consciously influence our thought patterns, allowing us to cultivate habits that align with our goals and values. It has shown us that through awareness, intention, and persistence, we can transform our lives from the inside out. As we move forward to Chapter 7, Thoughts and Relationships, we will extend the insights gained about our inner worlds to explore how our thoughts influence our interactions with others. We'll delve into the impact of our mindset on interpersonal relationships, the role of communication in reflecting our inner thoughts, and the importance of fostering empathy and understanding through thoughtful interaction. Embracing the lessons of Chapter 6 empowers us to not only enhance our personal journey of growth but also to enrich our connections with others, setting the stage for more meaningful and fulfilling relationships. Let's carry forward the understanding that our thoughts are the architects of our habits and the sculptors of our destiny, as we continue to shape a life that reflects our deepest values and aspirations. Chapter 7, Thoughts and Relationships Welcome to Chapter 7, Thoughts and Relationships, where we navigate the complex interplay between our internal thought processes and our external connections with others. This chapter looks at into the ways in which our thoughts, both conscious and subconscious, shape and are shaped by our interpersonal relationships. By understanding this dynamic, we uncover pathways to deeper, more meaningful interactions and a greater sense of connection and understanding with those around us. Interpersonal relationships refer to the connections and interactions we have with other individuals. These relationships can range from casual acquaintances to deep, intimate bonds. They are the fabric of our social lives, influencing our well-being, shaping our identities, and impacting our perspectives on the world. Inner thoughts are the continuous flow of ideas, beliefs, and emotions that run through our minds. These thoughts include our self-talk, the judgments we make about others, and the beliefs we hold about the world. Our inner thoughts are like the lens through which we view our reality, coloring our perceptions and experiences of our relationships. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. It is a cornerstone of meaningful interpersonal relationships, allowing us to connect with others on a deep emotional level. Empathy involves both cognitive and emotional components, understanding another person's perspective, cognitive empathy, and feeling what they feel, emotional empathy. Through empathy, we can foster a sense of connection and understanding, bridging the gap between our inner thoughts and our interactions with others. In this chapter, we will explore how our thoughts influence the quality and depth of our relationships, examining the role of communication as a mirror reflecting our inner thoughts. We will also delve into how fostering empathy and understanding can lead to more thoughtful and enriching interactions. By the end of this chapter, you will have gained insights into how to harmonize your inner world with your external relationships, creating a landscape of connections that are both fulfilling and growth-promoting. The Influence of Thoughts on Interpersonal Relationships The intricate dance between our thoughts and interpersonal relationships reveals a profound truth, the way we think significantly impacts how we relate to others. Our inner thoughts, those private conversations we have with ourselves, do not remain confined to the recesses of our minds. Instead, they spill over into our interactions, influencing our connections in myriad ways. Understanding this influence is key to nurturing healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Perception and Projection Our thoughts shape our perceptions of others. When we hold positive thoughts, we're more likely to perceive others in a favorable light, focusing on their strengths and virtues. Conversely, negative thoughts can lead us to focus on faults and weaknesses, even when they may not be apparent to others. This phenomenon, known as projection, means we often see in others what we unconsciously recognize in ourselves. By becoming aware of this, we can begin to question whether our judgments are truly about others or reflections of our own inner conflicts. Expectations and Relationships The expectations we hold, formed by our thoughts and beliefs about how relationships should function, play a crucial role in our interactions. High expectations, when unrealistic, can lead to disappointment and friction. On the other hand, positive expectations based on trust, respect, and understanding can enhance relationship satisfaction. Recognizing and adjusting our expectations allows us to foster more genuine and supportive connections. The Self-Fulfilling Prophecy Our thoughts have the power to create self-fulfilling prophecies in our relationships. When we expect certain behaviors from others, we may act in ways that inadvertently encourage those behaviors, confirming our original expectations. 
For instance, if we believe a friend to be unreliable, our defensive or accusatory behavior might strain the relationship, potentially leading to the very unreliability we feared. By challenging our negative assumptions and approaching interactions with openness, we can avoid these cycles of reinforcement. Communication and Thought Patterns The way we communicate is heavily influenced by our thought patterns. Positive, constructive thoughts encourage open, honest, and empathetic communication, laying the groundwork for strong relationships. In contrast, negative thoughts can lead to defensive, aggressive, or withdrawn communication styles, hindering connection and understanding. Being mindful of the thoughts preceding our interactions can help us choose more constructive communication approaches. Building bridges with positive thoughts. Cultivating positive thoughts about ourselves and others can build bridges between individuals. When we approach relationships with kindness, understanding, and a belief in mutual growth, we create an environment where connections can thrive. This doesn't mean ignoring issues or pretending problems don't exist but rather choosing to focus on solutions, growth, and the positive aspects of our relationships. The influence of thoughts on interpersonal relationships is profound and far-reaching. By becoming more aware of how our inner dialogues shape our interactions, we can take deliberate steps towards fostering healthier, more meaningful connections. This awareness is the first step in transforming our relationships from the inside out, creating a ripple effect that enhances not only our personal well-being but also the well-being of those around us. Communication, the reflection of inner thoughts. At the heart of every interpersonal relationship lies communication, a complex interplay of words, tones, gestures, and expressions that convey not just information but also our deepest thoughts, beliefs, and emotions. This chapter delves into the intricate ways in which our communication acts as a mirror, reflecting the myriad contours of our inner thoughts. It explores how the subtle and often unconscious nuances of our internal dialogues shape the way we express ourselves and interact with others. The Essence of Communication Communication is far more than the mere exchange of words. It is the bridge that connects the inner world of individuals, allowing for the sharing of thoughts, feelings, aspirations, and fears. Our inner thoughts, those continuous streams of consciousness that navigate through our minds, significantly influence the quality, tone, and direction of our communication. They color our words with emotional hues, imbue our silence with meaning, and guide our nonverbal cues, often without our explicit awareness. Translating Thoughts into Words The process of translating our thoughts into words is a complex one, involving a delicate balance of self-awareness, emotional intelligence, and linguistic skill. Our thoughts, shaped by personal experiences, biases, and belief systems, filter through layers of emotional and cognitive processing before they find expression in spoken or written form. This translation is not always straightforward. The nuances of our thoughts can be lost, distorted, or amplified in communication, depending on our ability to articulate them clearly and the listener's capacity to understand them accurately. The Role of Self-Awareness Self-awareness plays a pivotal role in ensuring that our communication accurately reflects our inner thoughts. By cultivating a deep understanding of our own thought processes, emotions, and triggers, we can communicate more intentionally, choosing words and expressions that align with our true intentions. This self-awareness also enables us to anticipate and manage the impact of our words on others, fostering more meaningful and constructive interactions. The Impact of Emotional Intelligence Emotional intelligence, the ability to understand and manage one's own emotions and empathize with the emotions of others, is critical in the translation of inner thoughts into effective communication. It allows us to gauge the emotional tone of our thoughts and adjust our communication style accordingly. Emotional intelligence also helps us interpret the underlying emotions and thoughts conveyed by others, enhancing our ability to respond with empathy and understanding. Nonverbal communication, the unspoken dialogue. Much of the reflection of our inner thoughts in communication occurs through nonverbal channels, facial expressions, body language, tone of voice, and even silence. These nonverbal cues often convey more about our internal state than words alone can express. They reveal our true feelings, attitudes, and intentions, sometimes contradicting our spoken words. Being mindful of our nonverbal communication and learning to read the nonverbal cues of others are essential skills for aligning our external expressions with our internal realities. Barriers to Authentic Communication Various barriers can hinder the accurate reflection of our inner thoughts in our communication. These include fear of vulnerability, societal norms and expectations, linguistic limitations, and emotional blocks. 
Overcoming these barriers requires courage, practice, and sometimes, the willingness to seek understanding and clarification in the face of misunderstandings. Enhancing communication through empathy and active listening. Empathy and active listening are key to ensuring that communication serves as a true reflection of our inner thoughts. By approaching conversations with an open heart and mind, striving to understand the perspective of the other person, and providing space for authentic expression, we can bridge the gap between thought and speech. Active listening where we fully engage with the speaker, seeking to understand their message beyond the words spoken, reinforces this bridge, creating a feedback loop that enriches the communication process. In conclusion, communication is the lens through which the inner workings of our minds are revealed to the world. It is a complex, dynamic process that requires awareness, intention, and skill to navigate effectively. By understanding the deep connection between our thoughts and our communication, we can strive to ensure that our interactions with others are authentic, meaningful, and reflective of our true selves. This understanding not only enhances our relationships but also fosters a deeper connection with our own inner landscapes, paving the way for personal growth and emotional fulfillment. Fostering Empathy and Understanding Through Thoughtful Interaction Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of another, is a cornerstone of meaningful interpersonal relationships. It bridges the gap between isolated individuals, fostering a shared sense of humanity and deepening connections. Empathy and understanding are not merely passive qualities but active processes that can be cultivated through thoughtful interaction. This part of the chapter explores how we can intentionally nurture empathy, thereby enhancing our relationships and enriching our collective experiences. Understanding Empathy Empathy involves both cognitive and emotional dimensions, cognitive empathy, the ability to understand another's perspective or mental state, and emotional empathy, the capacity to share and feel another person's emotions. A third aspect, compassionate empathy, involves taking action to help alleviate someone's distress. Together, these facets of empathy enable us to navigate our social environments with sensitivity and awareness. Steps to Foster Empathy Fostering empathy requires intentionality and practice. By following these steps, you can cultivate a more empathetic stance in your interactions with others, leading to richer, more understanding relationships. Step 1. Cultivate Self-Awareness Empathy begins with understanding oneself. Recognize your own emotions and thought patterns to distinguish them from those of others. This self-awareness is crucial for preventing personal biases and judgments from clouding your empathetic understanding. Step 2. Practice Active Listening Active listening is about fully concentrating on what is being said rather than passively hearing the message of the speaker. It involves listening with all senses, giving full attention to the speaker, understanding their message, responding appropriately, and remembering what was said. This attentiveness signals to the speaker that they are being heard and valued, laying the groundwork for a deeper empathetic connection. Step 3. Assume a nonjudgmental stance. Approach each interaction without preconceived notions or judgments. Adopting a nonjudgmental stance opens the door to understanding the complexities of another's experiences and viewpoints. This openness is essential for empathy, as it allows for a genuine connection to the other person's feelings and thoughts. Step 4. Engage in perspective-taking. Try to put yourself in the other person's shoes, imagining how they might feel or think in their situation. Perspective-taking extends beyond mere sympathy, inviting a deeper understanding of the other's experience. This imaginative exercise can reveal insights into the emotions and motivations driving their behavior, fostering a richer empathy. Step 5. Validate Emotions Validation involves acknowledging and accepting another person's feelings and experiences as valid and understandable. This doesn't necessarily mean agreeing with them but recognizing their emotions as real and significant. Validation is a powerful tool in empathetic interaction as it communicates understanding and acceptance. Step 6. Ask open-ended questions. Encourage dialogue and deeper understanding by asking questions that require more than a yes or no answer. Open-ended questions invite the sharing of thoughts and feelings, providing further opportunities to practice empathy and understanding. Step 7. Reflect and paraphrase. Reflecting and paraphrasing the speaker's words back to them can ensure you've correctly understood their message and convey your engagement with their perspective. This reflective listening can clarify misunderstandings and deepen mutual understanding. Step 8. Offer support. Empathy is not just about understanding, it's also about responding appropriately to another's needs. Offering support, whether through words of encouragement, acts of kindness, or simply being present, can make a significant impact on someone's life. 
Remember, sometimes the most empathetic response is simply to be there for someone offering silent support. Step 9. Practice regularly. Like any skill, empathy grows stronger with practice. Seek out diverse interactions and challenge yourself to empathize with people who have different viewpoints or life experiences. Regular practice will enhance your ability to connect with others on a deeper level. Step 10. Reflect on your experiences. After engaging in empathetic interactions, take time to reflect on your experiences. Consider what you learned about the other person, how it felt to connect with them empathetically, and how you might improve your empathetic skills in the future. Empathy in Action Fostering empathy and understanding requires thoughtful interaction and a commitment to seeing the world through others' eyes. By deliberately practicing the steps outlined above, we can break down barriers of misunderstanding and build bridges of compassion and connection. Empathy enriches not only our relationships but our broader social fabric, creating a more understanding, connected, and humane world. Conclusion As we conclude Chapter 7, we have journeyed through the intricate landscape where our internal thought processes and external interpersonal relationships intersect, exploring the profound impact our thoughts have on our connections with others. This exploration has revealed that our thoughts are powerful agents in shaping the quality and depth of our relationships, influencing how we communicate, empathize, and interact with those around us. We've uncovered the mechanisms through which our perceptions, projections, and expectations forged in the crucible of our minds play out in the theater of our relationships. We've seen how our communication acts as a direct reflection of our inner thoughts, either bridging hearts and minds or erecting barriers between them. Through understanding and intention, we can transform our communication into a tool for building deeper connections and fostering genuine understanding. Moreover, we delved into the art of fostering empathy and understanding through thoughtful interaction, recognizing that empathy is not a given but a skill that can be cultivated. By engaging in active listening, perspective-taking, and emotional validation, we not only enhance our relationships but also contribute to a more compassionate world. This chapter has underscored the undeniable truth that our relationships are mirrors reflecting our inner selves. The thoughts we nurture and the patterns we cultivate internally have far-reaching effects on our interactions and bonds with others. By harnessing the power of positive thinking, open communication, and empathy, we open doors to more fulfilling, enriching relationships that can withstand the tests of time and challenge. Chapter 8. Forward Momentum as we conclude our journey through the transformative exploration of the mind's power, let's distill the essence of what we've discovered into core principles that can guide us forward. The journey has illuminated several key areas, mindfulness, positive thinking, reducing limiting beliefs, visualization, and building relationships. Each of these areas offers profound insights and actionable strategies for fostering a life of greater fulfillment, purpose, and connection. Mindfulness emerges as a foundational practice, teaching us the importance of living in the present moment and cultivating an awareness of our thoughts and feelings. It's through mindfulness that we gain the clarity and calm needed to navigate the complexities of our inner world, enabling us to respond to life's challenges with grace and intention. Positive thinking is highlighted as a powerful catalyst for change. By shifting our focus from negative to positive thoughts, we unlock the potential to transform our outlook on life, improve our health and happiness, and open ourselves to the abundance of opportunities that surround us. Positive thinking isn't about ignoring reality's challenges but facing them with a mindset geared towards growth and resilience. Reducing limiting beliefs is essential for unleashing our potential. We've learned that many of the barriers to achieving our dreams reside within our minds, manifesting as beliefs that constrain our growth. By identifying, challenging, and reframing these limiting beliefs, we can break free from self-imposed confines and embark on a path of self-discovery and achievement. Visualization stands out as a potent tool for goal achievement and performance enhancement. Through the practice of creating vivid, sensory-rich images of our desired outcomes, we can prime our brains for success, enhancing our motivation and ability to manifest our goals into reality. Visualization bridges the gap between where we are and where we aspire to be, making our dreams more tangible and attainable. Building relationships through the lens of empathy and thoughtful interaction underscores the profound impact our thoughts and communication styles have on our connections with others. By fostering empathy, practicing active listening, and engaging in meaningful communication, we can deepen our relationships, enhancing the sense of understanding and support that enriches both our lives and the lives of those around us. In weaving together these threads, mindfulness, positive thinking, overcoming limiting beliefs, visualization, and empathetic relationships, we create a tapestry of practices that can transform our lives. 
As we move forward, let us carry these principles with us, applying them to foster a life marked by growth, fulfillment, and deep connections. The journey of self-improvement and personal transformation is ongoing and each day presents a new opportunity to apply what we've learned for our good and the good of those around us. Let this be a moment of commitment to that journey, propelled by the knowledge and insights we've gained, ready to face the future with optimism and purpose. Action Step Use Your Unlocked Mind for Good Having journeyed through the insights and strategies that empower us to harness the profound capabilities of our minds, it's time to translate this newfound understanding into action. Your mind, now unlocked and brimming with potential, is a powerful instrument for creating positive change in your life and in the world around you. Here's how you can put this into practice. 1. Cultivate compassion and empathy. Start by using your mind to foster deeper compassion and empathy within yourself. Allow these feelings to guide your interactions with others, aiming to understand their perspectives, share in their feelings, and offer support. This practice not only enriches your relationships but also contributes to a kinder, more empathetic world. 2. Engage in mindful living. Apply mindfulness to your daily life, approaching each moment with full awareness and appreciation. Whether it's savoring the taste of your food, fully engaging in conversations, or simply enjoying the beauty of nature, mindful living enhances your experience of life and encourages a deeper connection to the world around you. 3. Spread positivity. Use the power of positive thinking to influence not just your own life but also the lives of others. Share your positive outlook through acts of kindness, words of encouragement, and by being a source of light and inspiration in your community. Positivity is contagious, and your efforts can help to uplift those around you. 4. Challenge limiting beliefs in others. Having learned to identify and overcome your own limiting beliefs, you can now help others do the same. Encourage friends, family, and colleagues to question their self-imposed limits and to see themselves as capable of achieving more. Sometimes, a fresh perspective is all it takes to spark significant change in someone's life. 5. Share the power of visualization. Teach others about the power of visualization, sharing how this tool can help them achieve their goals and enhance their performance. Whether it's through informal conversations or more structured guidance, helping others to harness the power of their imagination can have a transformative effect on their lives. 6. Build empathetic communities. Use your understanding of empathy and thoughtful interaction to foster communities, whether in your workplace, social circles, or online, that are based on mutual respect, understanding, and support. Creating spaces where empathy is valued can have a ripple effect, encouraging more compassionate and cohesive societies. 7. Advocate for Mindfulness and Mental Well-Being Become an advocate for mindfulness and mental well-being in your community. Whether it's by organizing workshops, participating in mental health initiatives, or simply sharing your journey with others, your advocacy can help to break down the stigmas surrounding mental health and promote a more holistic approach to well-being. By putting these steps into action, you use your unlocked mind for the greater good, transforming not only your own life but also making a positive impact on the world around you. Your journey through understanding and mastering your thoughts has equipped you with the tools to create meaningful change. Embrace this opportunity to make a difference, one thought, one action, one interaction at a time. Conclusion As we close the book The Power of Thoughts, Unlocking Your Mind's Full Potential, we reflect on the journey we've embarked upon together, it's important to recognize the profound transformation that awaits at the intersection of knowledge and action. You've been equipped with powerful insights into the nature of thoughts, the art of mindfulness, the transformative power of positive thinking, the liberation from limiting beliefs, the magic of visualization, and the deepening of relationships through empathy and understanding. Each of these insights serves as a beacon, guiding you toward a life of enriched meaning, purpose, and connection. Remember, the journey of self-discovery and personal growth is not a destination but a continuous path. Along this path, you'll encounter challenges and setbacks, but armed with the strategies and wisdom you've acquired, you possess the resilience and fortitude to overcome them. Your mind, now unlocked, is your most valuable ally in this journey. It holds the keys to doors yet unopened, dreams yet realized, and potentials yet unleashed. As you move forward, I encourage you to wield the power of your mind with intention and compassion. Use it to illuminate the dark corners of doubt and fear, to bridge gaps between hearts and minds, and to sow seeds of positivity and hope in your life and the lives of those around you. Let the knowledge you've gained not just reside within the pages of this book but manifest in your actions and interactions, creating ripples of change that extend far beyond the confines of your immediate world. In moments of hesitation or uncertainty, remember that every great journey begins with a single step. 
Let this moment be your step forward, not just in pursuit of personal goals but in the service of a greater good. The world needs the light of your unlocked mind now more than ever. May you walk forth with confidence, curiosity, and a heart full of empathy. Embrace the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead with open arms, knowing that you are equipped with the tools to navigate them. And in times of need, remember that the greatest strength lies within the power of your thoughts, the depth of your understanding, and the compassion of your interactions. Here's to the journey ahead, to the lives you'll touch, and to the incredible impact you're destined to make. Go forth with courage, with love, and with the unwavering belief in the power of your unlocked mind. The future is not only something you enter but something you create, and it begins with a single thought.